What's going on, y'all? My name is Damien, and on this channel, I basically talk about uh, DevSecOps, cloud security, and also offer career advice in both of those domains or in the realm of cybersecurity. And in today's video, um, you know, it's just going to be very casual, but I'm really just going to talk, talk about how I got my master's degree in cybersecurity, um, where I got it from, and also um, how I got it mostly for free um, and some of the benefits of it. So let's just get right into it. All right. So when it comes down to my background, so I originally got my bachelor's of science from Texas Southern University um, and it's in computer science. And I graduated in 2018. Um, but I knew for a fact that like I wanted to get a master's degree at some point in time for various different reasons, which I'll explain as I go through the video. Um, but I actually graduated with my master's in cybersecurity technology from University of Maryland uh, Global Campus. And that was in 2023 when I graduated. Um, so let me tell you why I chose UMGC in the first place, right? So my options when I was deciding this and when I started really researching what degrees I wanted to go for or which universities I wanted to attend for this. Um, I was torn between uh, UMGC, I'm sorry, not UMGC, um, WGU, um, George Mason, Capella, and UM, UM, UC at the time, which is University of Maryland uh, University College before they rebranded it to uh, University of Maryland Global Campus. And WGU is like notorious for having a really, really good cybersecurity program. Um, same thing with Capella. And then George Mason was kind of like one of those outliers. But when I researched their program back then, I was just like, this is definitely one of the top because, you know, it really offered all the courses that I really was that I really wanted to take. Um, and it seemed like a program that was like exceptionally challenging. Right. So. I spoke with one of my mentors who graduated from UMUC at the time, and like she's kind of high up there in the leadership chain. And her advice to me when I when I asked her about you know how was the program, like is it rigorous, like is it challenging, um, is it accredited, all the stuff like that. Like she basically gave me all of the answers were yes. Um, you know the program itself was like really challenging. Um, you know it really helped her in her career, understanding like various different aspects of cybersecurity from cyber defense, penetration testing, um, digital forensics, even all the way down to just like the basic foundational concepts. Um, the only drawback to UMUC was that, um, compared UMGC now, but compared to WGU was, it did not give you that, you, you didn't really get the opportunity to really like take the certifications are trained towards them. Um, but one thing that UMGC really, um, that I liked about the program was that it's it was completely project-based, right? So there were no tests, no exams, it's just all projects and you're graded by your deliverables at the end of those projects, whether you're working in a group or not in a group. So with all that being stated, because I had that inside, inside advice or that insight from my other mentors, I decided to just go with UMGC. So let me tell y'all, you know, like the journey, because I'm going to go back to where I was at at my first job and how I basically like gone through the entire program. So let's start from the beginning. Right. So I graduated from TSU in 20. 18 right and i got my first I accepted my offer at verizon um as like a junior software engineer or security software engineer for um, application security tools so i was basically building tools for application security engineers and stuff like that and that entire time while i was telling you about the research and me doing that that took me about a year so i took a year off just doing research um getting acclimated uh, into my profession making sure that i uh get myself, get to a certain level where I'm comfortable um, at being able to perform before taking on new responsibilities. So at the, I would say around like the, around like August, September of 2019, I basically made my decision and apply to all the universities, but I really wanted to make sure I wanted to get accepted into UMGC, right? And 
at that time I was notified once I got the acceptance letter, you know what I'm saying? Then I went straight forward and I just went in head and committed to it. But the thing was, before I even went and done all of that, I went to make sure and check that my company had a tuition assistance program. So if you don't necessarily know what a tuition assistance program or something of the sort is, most companies offer them and they offer you like a uh, a certain amount like every year, like you can have like maybe 5K, 10K to basically throw at a degree to get you a degree, whether it be a PhD, a master's or even a bachelor's degree. Right. So. Verizon was 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 kind enough to be able to have a program like that and basically be able to pay for my degree for me. Um, at that time, I didn't really have to have any commitment. So like if I left after a certain semester ended, I could do so without having to pay them back, which was also very nice. But that at that time, I was like, you know what, y'all, y'all are going to help me pay for it. you gave me a grand a year Bet I'm going to take full advantage of it because every semester was about forty one sixty four. Right. So. The entire program was a total of 36 credit hours. You need to have 36 to graduate. It's all online, so I didn't necessarily have to go anywhere, and it was all project-based. So I was basically spending all of my time during the three three years that three well, it was about three years that it took me to graduate, um, just going through the courses. And the biggest thing of UMGC that really helped me or really taught me was like technical writing technical writing was the most important part of it like i would literally go to work and then i get off i go to the gym um cook or whatever and then like from 8 to like 1 a.m i'm literally like writing like literally writing researching writing papers about what the class was over and like some of the assignments that i had and the thing was, it was brutal because it was an accelerated program. So, like, I think each course at the time was about 10 to 12 weeks, right? You got 10 to 12 weeks, and you, within those 10 to 12 weeks, you had to cram, research, write papers on what you've researched in, in an articulate way, learn APA, write them in APA format at that. And then you had to do so much other stuff on top of that. And sometimes you had to basically um, work with a group for a group project that might have been extended over the entire duration of the class on top of your assignments. Uh, so, and these group, the people, you know, that you're working with, obviously, you know, everybody's remote. So you're working with people in different time zones. You got to collaborate them X, Y, Z. So I'm like, all right. Most of the time I was pretty stressed out. Um, but it was, it was all for the better. Right. Um, and ultimately I learned a lot about, cyber defense. I learned a lot about digital forensics, how to write lab reports, um, you know, penetration testing lab reports and all that good stuff like that. Risk assessments. I learned how to do all of that going through this entire program. So honestly, it was probably the best decision that I've made for my career, honestly, because once I've gotten into a senior position or senior role, um, a lot of it is really writing. Um, and that really will take you far. Like you got to learn how to write in order for you to convey your ideas and put them in writing is most important. Very, very important. So it took me three and a half years to, I mean, three years, sorry, to get through the program. Um, and like I said, I got my degree practically paid for almost in full with the exception of like, you know, maybe a hundred dollars or a thousand dollars, uh, for all 36 credit hours. And each class I took was one class. Each class was six credit hours at that. So in total, like the degree came out to be about 26K. And I think I only paid out of pocket like 1K, if not 2K. And that's mostly just like extra fees, um, graduation caps and gowns and stuff like that. But halfway through the program, you know, I could have been done earlier, but halfway through it, I had to take a slight break or small break. And the reason why was because um, I ended up switching jobs. So I ended up leaving VZ and work, and ended up going to a financial company. And the beautiful thing about that was um, they also had or have a tuition assistance program that pretty much helped me finish paying for my degree. So all in all, that's just my story and my journey about like how I was able to get my degree within a certain amount of time. And I graduated in 2023. And it honestly opened up quite a few doors for me 
And I'll expand upon that. So when it comes down to, you know, the benefit of having a master's degree in cybersecurity within the cybersecurity space, um, I will just give y'all like my take on it based on my experience, right? Why it's important. So when it comes down to getting a master's degree, what I realized within my career is a lot of the people in like senior leadership roles, when you're talking about like senior leadership roles, I'm thinking like, you know, managers, directors, senior managers, you know what I'm saying? VPs. Um, I looked at, I looked up the chain and I was just like, you know, a lot of these people have advanced degrees. And I felt like in my particular case, if I didn't have that, that would be a door that would have been closed for me if I didn't get this advanced degree. Not saying that my intent was to go into management, but if there ever came a point where I wanted to go in that direction, whether it be technical management and even, you know, technical, like senior leadership, like the distinguished and staff engineering roles, I would be, you know, I would be, I will be well positioned to be able to receive the opportunity. So I think for me, that is one of the key benefits of getting a master's degree in cybersecurity because you open that door to receive leadership opportunities. Um, the degrees themselves, yeah, they're, they, they don't necessarily always prepare you for cybersecurity um, when it comes down to like actually getting the hands-on experience because some of them may not offer those lab courses like UMUC or UMGC did. But it what really matters the most is like that ability to be able to effectively collaborate with your peers, um, the networks that you build, the technical writing, the writing skills and that muscle that you build that you really need when you go up into higher leadership and those communication skills. Like a lot of what was exercised for me was the soft skills in the program because all the technical aspects and technical things like I kind of knew based on my experience in the industry, but also like studying for the CompTIA Security Plus before, well before I actually got into the program. But I didn't know how to write. Like I could not write to save my life. So that in itself, that writing took me to a whole new level. And a part uh, on, on top of me getting this master's degree, once I got it, um, shortly after I received a promotion at work, you know what I'm saying? So really it, really kind of helped shape my career in such a way where it really propelled me to jump directly into a senior leadership role, right? In my case, a technical senior leadership role, not necessarily a managerial leadership role. But if it came down to a point where I wanted to pivot and transition into it, I feel like I will be well positioned to do so. Um, now, when it comes down to whether or not it's worth it, I will argue this point, and I know this is like a sensitive topic, but be master's degrees, in my personal opinion, are only worth it if your employer sponsors it. And the reason why I say that is because the skills that you learn in the programs themselves, you can go out and you can learn it for free. Well, excuse my language. You can learn this stuff for free. Um, you can Google how to do most of the stuff. There are courses out here that teach you how to do most of this stuff. Hell, there are technical writing courses that teach you how to do these things too. But you don't get that like that that network, right? That alumni network um, from your institutions that you would normally get. And I use that quite a bit when I'm out like networking. You know, it could possibly applying for jobs, stuff like that. I've used that in the past to help me and it has helped me in significantly. So I would say if you're if you can find someone to pay for your degree and it's mostly free and it doesn't hurt you financially, I don't see why you don't get it. I don't see why you wouldn't get it. It will position it will put you in a position to receive opportunities so much better than if you didn't have it. It can't hurt you completely without having it it can only help you so if your company is willing to pay for it get it get it also another thing that I, I almost forgot this that i think you would benefit from by getting a master's degree depending on the program is 
the breadth of knowledge that you that you will obtain, right? When you start studying or when you're in your program, nine times out of 10, you're gonna take a lot of different courses. You're gonna take courses that cover cyber defense. You're gonna take courses that cover, um, you know, uh, digital forensics and investigation strategies. You're gonna take courses that, hold on, let me pull up my actual like degree plan, right? Um, Cause I still have access to this stuff. Uh, you're gonna take courses that will talk about like exploitation, um, this found, discovering foundations, like a whole bunch of stuff. You're gonna learn a lot across the entire spectrum of uh, InfoSec. Um, and you're gonna go a bit deeper, right? But the thing is, what this gives you is that ability to kind of figure out where you actually wanna be when you get a master's in cybersecurity, especially if it's touching so many different aspects and areas. Something that I value the most because when I take my degree, like, you know, when, you, when, you, when, you, when you're studying for something and you study for something like, like computer science, for example, like computer science is very broad, right? It's very, very broad. There's so many different areas that you can, you can go into. But when you're in school, it's always nice to have to be able to touch those different areas because you know what it is that you want to do after the fact. So if you know for a fact that when you're in this program and let's say, for example, like you took uh, prevention of cyber attacks, right, or cyber defense and you really enjoyed that course, like you felt like you found your passion um, in that course, like it's something that you see yourself doing for a long period of time. You know, for a fact that like, all right. Now it's time for me to take what I've learned, explore and research more opportunities revolving around this area and just go ahead and target that and apply for jobs in that specific area. That is the the the, the key, um, you know what I'm saying, value, I think, of getting a degree in cybersecurity is being able to find what it is that you actually like within cybersecurity that you see yourself doing long term. And for me, you know, that's something that I really value and enjoyed about this program because I was like, you know what? I don't really care for the red teaming thing, but I really do like defense blue teaming, right? I really like building guardrails. I really like building controls. I really like that aspect of doing those things. So I was just like, I know for a fact that this is where I'm going to be long term, somewhere in this area, somewhere in threat defense, right? Cyber defense. And that's essentially the that that's it really <laughs> that's the that's the key value of it right and that's it for this video um i want to thank y'all so much for watching and listening to me just talk about my experience uh, there's a lot more in detail that i can go like i can go deep in it and deep in the weeds but most importantly i think i've already covered everything i need to cover for this video so if you like what you heard and it inspired you to go get your master's in cybersecurity and get an organization to pay for it definitely like subscribe um share with your friends share with people that you think this video will help and most importantly comment underneath it you know i always make sure i engage with y'all um and you know have conversations with y'all in the comments so with that being stated thank y'all again for watching and i will see y'all in the next video later <laughs>